Hello everyone, my name's Holotide, and here are five things you may have missed in the multiplayer reveal trailer and the Vidoc. I've seen some people say that this is a form of a UNSC railgun, and while that wouldn't exactly surprise me, the gun looks way more alien than anything else the UNSC has produced before. Also, the type of ammo and projectile that comes from the weapon also seems more Forerunner inspired than anything human related. Could this just be a hybrid weapon that uses Forerunner tech or something completely different that the UNSC has created? I guess we will just have to wait and see. A small but very nice detail that was also added to Halo Infinite was the inclusion of the old combat evolved flags for CTF. The Cobra for red and the Eagle for blue are alive and well, replacing the UNSC logos of previous Halo titles. We keep hearing about how this game is a celebration of Halo and its past and 343 are really going the extra mile in the small details. More on those small details later. It also looks that there may be custom crosshairs available in Halo Infinite as we see a couple different versions throughout the gameplay. Maybe these are just different variations that they have tried out, but for most PC games, custom crosshair creation is pretty widespread and standard, and it's just another way to customize your game experience. When watching the longer Vidoc multiplayer, we see a BR for just a split second with a weapon skin, but also if you look closely, you can see a number on the BR. While this just may be a part of the skin, I really hope it's a stat tracker for the, your lifetime kills on a certain weapon. This game is apparently going to be a 10 year title, so you could seriously rack up some numbers on that tracker. Going back to those small details that 343 is including, if you look closely throughout the academy and its map for multiplayer, you will see a couple hidden details regarding Halo and its lore. Around the map, there are decals of what looks to be Noble Six and his helmet, as well as the Avery J. Johnson Academy of Military Science, also known as Sergeant Johnson. I absolutely love this inclusion. I think that it's very cool to honor those past characters and some capacity in the game. And it's just, again, it's just a nice gesture. As I said before, this goes back to the small details that 343 are incorporating in the game, and it just makes the game feel like Halo. And I'm super excited for other little Easter eggs throughout the game. That's going to do it for this super quick video on things you may have missed in there. I don't want to waste your time, but if you enjoyed the video and you learned something, make sure you leave a sub for more Halo news. Like the video if you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.